sound, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells. What you do? Getting money, switching cars and chickens like it's nothing. Blowing heads in the air, yeah, I'm always in the sun. You hear that damn sound, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name <laughs> ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells. What you do? Getting money, switching cars and chickens like it's nothing. Blowing yeah. heads in the air, yeah, I'm always in the sun. The last topic that we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is, like, once again, sparring footage gets leaked. Uh, there was sparring footage leaked of Edgar Berlinger getting dropped by Erickson Lubin in sparring. And uh, we are going to bring that footage to you now, courtesy of Fight Hype. All right, so take a look. <laughs> So for those uh, listening on the podcast right now, uh, Lubison's in the corner, and they're they're having some inside fighting. Lubison just landed an uppercut and a left hook. Uh, Berlinger just landed a hook and an uppercut to the head. They're exchanging. Lubison just landed a right hook to the body. Berlinga's pushing Lubison against the ropes, and he just landed a, a right hook and left hook to the body. Straight right to the head from Berlinga. Right hook, left hook from Berlinga. Left hook, right hook from Lubison to the body. It was really good inside fighting by both guys. Mean straight right hand and overhand right. Uh, to the top of the head of Berlinga, and Berlinga went down and took a knee. All right. So, I'm going to turn it over to you, Trill Dollar Bill. What's your reaction to the sparring footage of Edgar, Edgar Berlinga being dropped by Erickson Lubin? All right. I'm going to keep it a buck. See, I was trying to keep my emotions and everything in the media. You know? Bro, go in. All we right. don't want that. We don't want we don't want that drill. Right, we, cool. we want trail keeping it all the way real, dollar bill. All right, this is how I feel. I text the group and I told them how I felt personally. Mm -hmm. I said, it's corny. I felt like this is corny, and I feel like all this stuff has been corny. Everything that I love about this sport is starting to be. It's they trying to do something weird. I don't like it. I don't know if it's the new generation or whatever. I just don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not with it. Um, what happens in sparring? What happened to that? Whatever happens in sparring stays in sparring. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't heard about other things happening in sparring. It's never supposed to be. T it's sparring. <laughs> it's sparring. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be learning different things here in sparring. Like that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're learning. You know what I'm saying? This is a young man. He's learning. He's in there. They're not. It's not a real fight. It's sparring. I hope. I hope Erickson Lubin. I hope his people did not put that out for no clout chasing. Because then that would be really, really horrible on your part. And I would think that'd be really, really corny. Whoever leaked this is corny. I don't even think that this. I don't even. Who? No matter who it was. No matter who it was. I don't care when they was talking about uh, Tyson Fury being dropped in, and and I like Tyson Fury when they was talking about uh, other fighters that I like or people that you know what I'm saying my fighters was knocking out. I don't want to hear that. You don't get no kudos for that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's whack. You tell you y'all starting to take away the integrity of this sport that I love so much. When y'all doing this this corny cloud chase, I don't know if y'all trying for views or what. I don't I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. The public don't need to see everything. The public don't need to see everything. Like they don't need to see everything. This is this is I don't know. But I just thought it was disgusting and corny, man. I don't care about that sparring stuff. Or whoever leaked that, man, you're a sucker. Cause I don't know. I just this is how I feel. Me personal. I just feel, you know what I'm saying? Like that's some sucker stuff. Like, I don't want to hear about that. Whatever happens to sparring, it, it, it stays in sparring. Unless somebody's cheating or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless somebody's cheating or something. But other than that, you know what I mean? This just happens. You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to and hurt a, a, a kid's uh, uh, confidence or something about something and tease them about something that happened in sparring. 
Like y'all hate on somebody that like I don't I don't get it, man. I can never hate on somebody like that. I'm sorry. I could I can't just hate somebody just want to just nitpick and find something. Find something. I well listen. I I stole a candy ball when I was in the second grade. Y'all want to hate me for that? Go ahead, hate me. For that. <laughs> Go ahead. Since y'all y'all so corny, I just I don't know. I don't know. Trail report said it was more like fifth <laughs> grade. Ever. It was a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But still, you know what I'm saying? It's just corny, man. It's just to me, it's just corny. I'm just sorry. I just think it's corny. It has my, not in this 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 sport that I love so much with 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 is a gentleman sport. This is a gentleman sport, by the way. Anybody cool with that? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. We're just two different people, I guess. All right. The commissioner has spoken, and now it's time to hear from Conspiracy G. Yeah, um, so salute to, to Fight Hype and uh the boxing voice for, for releasing the footage. But I do agree with Trill. Whoever leaked the footage is a sucker, you know. Um, I'm not mad at YouTubers for releasing it. That's what they're gonna do. They need, you know what I mean? Like well, that's so what I, that's what that's automatically what you're talking about when you talk about the leak. Yeah. If, I, if I received a leak, I would post it too. Yeah, but it doesn't mean like you know. No, I just want to yeah. clear, like we're not talking about the the people that posted on YouTube. No, no, no. I'm talking about the guy that was there that handed that off. Exactly. Yeah. So whoever handed you, that was whoever was handed that off. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Well, me me and Trill agree one thousand on this one, and and another thing too, like. I'm 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 pretty sure Belenga is smart enough to know this ain't gonna affect his psyche in the ring because he knows the sparring. Like, bro, they're wearing headgear and sixteen ounce sixteen or eighteen ounce gloves. Like, that's not the big lights. You know what I mean? So it's two different things. We don't know what round it was. We don't know if Lubin was his first sparring partner that day or his fourth sparring partner that day. You don't know what he was working on. You don't know what. His, his his corner was like, yo, you cannot do this move. We just want you to focus on something. We don't know. We're just looking at, what, like a one-minute clip of a sparring session. So this means literally nothing. And it might mean something to people that don't understand boxing, don't understand training camps. But to those that know, it's just like, okay, you just showed my man just getting hit, you know, but you're not showing us what round this was. How like how many opponents he had in the ring? You know what is he working on in particular? So this this actually means nothing, you know. Um, now obviously we know because Lubin's performance last night, my man can hit. You know what I mean? I just watched him eat some Dominican style ribs, but that doesn't mean he could do that to Belenga in the ring. You get what I'm saying? Like so, sparring is sparring, fighting is fighting. It's two different things. One place is to, to study and improve. The other one is to deliver. So, yeah, man, I, I don't – yeah, it's just whoever leaked it is corny. Yeah. With all due respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a few things. One, if you grew up in any contact sport, you've seen someone not have a good day or you've seen someone get hurt. In contact sports, people get hurt. Um as someone who grew up in a gym, I've seen people get dropped in the gym, get 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 rocked in sparring. Um, I tell the story. Um, I literally got paralyzed in sparring. I took a body shot and I tried to move my legs and I couldn't. And eventually, like I got my legs back. I'll say my legs were numb for about eight seconds, but not like that eight seconds. It felt like thirty. Of me trying to move my legs and I couldn't move them. Now that's not me getting dropped. Like I was the only person who really knew until later when I told people. But it could have happened on a chin, and I could have been, I could have went down, I could have got hurt, and then everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, you got dropped or whatever." It's like, bro, it's a fight. It's a fight. Um, and if you saw uh the documentary with uh Ray Leonard. Marvin Hagler, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, and Roberto Duran. Ray Leonard tells you he got dropped in sparring before the Hagler fight. And on his way to the Hagler fight, 
his people are thinking like, yo, if he got dropped in sparring, imagine what Hagler's going to do to him. Ray Leonard went on to, to win the fight. Now, personally, I don't think he won the fight, but the judges gave Leonard the fight. So, Leonard, but still, Leonard didn't get knocked out by Hagler in the actual fight. Leonard got knocked down by his sparring partner in training for the fight with Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler, who's a more vicious puncher, who's the middleweight champion, didn't knock him out. So that tells you everything. You know, training is training for a reason. But back in Leonard's day, word didn't get back to Hagler that he got dropped in camp. Hagler didn't know about it. Hagler's, I mean, Leonard's people were worried that he might not be ready for a Hagler. But they didn't run around telling everybody. They didn't run around leaking footage. They didn't run around saying anything. So that's they passed around the VHS tape. I know. Back then it was a lot harder, though, right? That was a lot harder. The VHS tape. Back then it was the one where it came up. It was the one where it came up like this. You got to slide that one like this. Put it down. Put <laughs> so, they didn't just share the VHS. You know what I'm saying? They didn't run around recording on an A track. You know? Oh. <laughs> nah, but so another thing that people don't understand about growing up in a gym, like people's camps sometime, sometimes are on different schedules, right? Edgar, Edgar Berlinga just had a kid, just had a son, I believe. And he's been with his son. Erickson Lubin fought last night. That means Erickson Lubin is in camp. If you don't understand what that means, when you're in camp, you're running, you're sparring, you're training over and over and over and over and over. You're in treatment, all, all this stuff. When you're not in camp and you're just working out to stay in shape, you're not in peak fighting condition. So you got Erickson Lubin in peak fighting condition. He's putting the finishing touches on his camp. And Edgar's just like, oh, I just had a baby, whatever. Oh, I'll come to get some work in, goes into the gym. And he hits him with a shot kind of on the top of the head around the ear area. And he goes down. And then that footage leaks. And everyone's like, oh, look what he did to Berlinga. Like in camp. Now, the, now you hear stories all the time about, oh, I did them in sparring. I did them in sparring. And then when they have the actual fight, the person who won the sparring session loses the fight. You know why? When you have a fight, each fighter is in camp at the same damn time. He's training. You training at the same damn time. Y'all going to arrive at the fight. On that night, at the same damn time. And then it's a lot different. It's a lot different when you're training for someone every day. Y'all are in camp at the same time. Sparring is typically, I can go to sparring and someone else from another gym can go to sparring. We're at different levels of our fitness right now. Until you give us a date and you say we're going to fight each other on that date. Now it's about preparation. Now it's about training. Now it's about this. Now it's about all those things. And that's why anyone leaking footage of a sparring session knows nothing. On top of what G said, you don't know what round it is. You don't know this. You don't know that. Plus, you only saw one clip. You know, he, you, you saw they were, they were landing good shots on each other. They was getting good work in on each other. If those gloves were eight, if those gloves were eight, ten ounces and they had no headgear on, could Lubin even take the shots that he was taking in the corner from Belinga? Those are things y'all aren't even considering. Now I'm not here to 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 trash uh Lubin because Lubin had a decent performance. Um I should say decent. It was a good performance against uh Jason Rosario, but he, but we already seen him. We already saw Charlo do him in, and we saw Charlo do in Lubin as well. So again, just just for me, I don't care what happens in sparring. Uh that's supposed to be training. And football the same. I seen dudes do all this stuff in football. I seen dudes get lit up in, in, in practice, go go out during the game and ball out. Practice is practice. And what we doing right now, we talking about 
practice. <laughs> please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know who the, you know who we are. That's Conspiracy G right there. That's my brother Caden right there. And I'm Trill Dollar Bill. But first of all, before we end this, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everybody for going out there and for listening to Trill Talk Volume 1. I want to let y'all know that Trill Talk Volume 2 is out right now. But I want to give a special, special shout out to my bros, my fellow boxing bros. You know why? Because they've been supporting me in this whole musical journey the whole way through. So I just wanted to show them love because it's nothing like having your bros supporting what you do. So I just wanted to shout out to my boxing bros. Shout out to the TBE. He's not here right now, but definitely shout out to my bros for supporting and showing me love on this musical journey that I'm on. Like I said, once again, Trill Talk Volume 1 and Volume 2 out now on all major streaming services. We are the boxing bros. Ha, ha, ha.